Are you ever wondering how some people seem to be blessed with an ability to make quick and easy decisions? And yet, here you are and you weigh all the pros and cons, you ponder and you still don't come to a conclusion. In this video, I'll explain a tool that actually commercial pilots use to come to their decisions even when it has to be done in a very limited amount of time and could affect everyone on board. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it up in some work and believe. Welcome to Crosswinds Pilot. My name is Kai Dirk Liefert, and on this channel, we talk about structure, creativity, and purpose for your business and for a venture that fits your values in life. You may know that apart from having worked in the financial industry for over two decades, I'm also an enthusiastic pilot. I took a private pilot's license, flew for a number of years, and eventually also obtained my commercial license. What I really loved about flying is the fact that every day and the job in itself is so different from anything else that I've done before. But I also realized that's one of the beauties of this job because it gives me some tools and some aspects that I can now incorporate into my business life as well. And this is what this video is about. So here is what commercial pilots use in their day-to-day -day job. And the tool I want to describe is called T-Doda. To understand this tool, let's just look at those six letters at first. First is the T which stands for time. So you ask yourself with the specific problem at hand, with the specific decision I have to make, how much time do I have? Well, in aviation, it's often related to fuel, for example. How long can I fly around in the sky until my fuel runs out? Or at other times when there is a more serious problem, how long is it safe to fly? The second part is the D. It's the diagnosis. So what is actually wrong? What problem do I want to solve? And frankly, if you think about it already from a business perspective, sometimes we miss out that step. Sometimes we are not entirely sure what problem we want to solve. The next step in the T-Doda model is the O. So we are looking at options. We are looking what can be done right now to address this issue. Is it just one option? Do we have multiple options? What are the pros and cons of those? So the next part of this is already the D, decide. It's important not to overthink all the options that you just went through. Because at the end of the day, you know that the most important thing in this decision is time. So you come to a decision. It doesn't end there, but first of all, you say, this is the path I want to go and you come to the A of Tidoda, which means what are my action items? Who do I have to inform? Who do I have to speak to? Is there something I have to do in the plane? Is there something I have to do for the passengers? Is there something we can do together as pilot and co-pilot? And you come up with an action plan. Exactly what is it what you try to achieve? And once you've done all of that, and once you have the security of knowing you are not running out of time, you have diagnosed the problem, you've looked at the options, you have decided what to do, and you know what to do about it, only then you come to the final part, and some say it's the most important part of t -Doder. it's the R, review. Then you sit back and say, have we missed anything? So now I wonder, what happens if we use T-Doda to apply it to our everyday life? So let me give you an example. Lately I was thinking about my personal pension planning and I thought, do I have to do something different? So I remembered this specific tool and I thought to myself, can I use that to actually make my pension planning a little bit more easy? So I thought about it, T, time very simple at what age do I actually want to retire or let me put it this way at what age do I not want to be dependent on some employment income and if that is the case then it very quickly leads to the D the diagnosis I can 
pretty safely say, what do I have in my pension pot today? I can probably pretty safely say, what do I need in the future if I want to live the life that I envisage? And so my diagnosis is, what's the difference between the two? Now I have options. I can, in the UK, look for ISA accounts. I can have a self-investment pension plan. I've got a company pension plan. There are many options that I can look at. I can also decide not to use any of those and maybe go out and buy a flat and try to get my pension income through that way. And obviously, I then also think about what are the implications of those options? Do I have to pay taxes for them? What are the advantages and disadvantages? And I don't have to do all of this myself. I can go to a financial planner. I can ask him and say, what are my options here? Once I've done that, I could probably go away and spend months and months and maybe year after year to just ponder about, well, but what is the best option? I don't do that. I remember T. Doda, so I decide. And I say, this is the course of action I want to do right now. So let me go there. And what is it that I have to do? Who do I have to call to maybe open an account? Do I have to buy something? Do I have to get more information about certain investment types? Who can help me with that? That's my action plan. And only then, after I've done all of this, I look at the whole pension plan, maybe even a year into it, and say, well, have I missed anything? Is this still the plan that gives me the best ability to achieve my goals in my future pension? So this is all I wanted to say for today. We've looked at the T-Dota model. I think it's a wonderful tool that you can apply in your life as well to come to some decisions. But I would be curious, what is your personal method to make decisions? So please, if you comment below, let us know what your personal preference is when it comes to making a choice. If you get value out of this video, then please consider liking and subscribing, especially at this early stage of the channel. It'll greatly help us out. It'll greatly help also me creating content for you in the future. Thank you. In the next video, I will share with you some common mistakes, some common pitfalls that happened to me that I wish I had known at the time. In the meantime, have a great week ahead. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon.